please. Thank you, uh, Chair. Minister, uh, the Carline Learning Centre in, in Lucan County, Dublin, has been providing a unique educational, social care and psychological service uh, to young people for over 25 years. Uh, it, it works with young people who, for a variety of reasons, are, are no longer able to remain in mainstream schools, often young people with complex needs, with issues in their families or in their communities. And what it does is it provides them with a stable learning environment, firstly to try and reintegrate them into mainstream school, but also to give them real opportunities in life. They have an enormous success rate. In the last year, 17 young people who entered the school completed the junior certificate exams, and 53% of the young people that go through their doors are reintegrated back into education. Now, their funding situation is very precarious, but the central problem that the three deputies uh, from the constituency want to raise today is they don't have access uh, to capital funding. They currently have an urgent capital funding need to bring the building up to health and safety standards, and we're urging you and your department uh, to intervene. Uh, and while I got a PQ back from uh, the senior minister recently, it, it was disappointing that he talked about these as out-of-school provision. This is a form of school for young people that desperately need the support. The building they're in should be uh, up to health and safety standards, and we're asking you to work with us to try and resolve the current funding difficulties. Thank you, Deputy O'Brien. Um, Deputy Kerr, please. Minister, Deputy O'Brien clearly set out the role of Caroline, and it, I suppose we've had the opportunity to visit there last week. I want to reiterate that the children who are attending there, there are about 50 of them at any given point in time, um, and they have a range of issues. Without this facility, they would be excluded from education. That's the reality of the situation. And the outcomes are very, very successful. As Deputy O'Brien uh, indicated, that having done junior cert, more than half of these children actually return to mainstream education. Deputy O'Brien clearly pointed out that there is an issue in terms of the physical structure of the building, the condition it's in. And while we've received a reply and the various funders are washing their hands of it, and that's because it is funded in an unusual manner. There are probably four primary funders, uh, the Education Training Board, the Local Drugs Task Force, TUSLA and the department itself. And the primary concern is for the children themselves. Those children are in the ranges of 13 to 17 years of age. There is an, an obligation on the state to ensure their education. Most of those children are obliged to attend education, uh, an educational facility. They're not uh, of an age where they can be uh, gone from, from that environment. And nobody is standing up to address the issue of providing the capital funding that's required. The funding that they get at the moment, most of it is on current expenditure staff wages. And the challenge here is that the building as is at the moment is not fit for purpose. And without the Minister taking a proactive role and addressing this issue, the future of this institution is of concern to us. Thank you. Deputy Kenny, please. Thanks, Chair. Uh, I concur with my um, fellow Dublin Midwest uh, TDs. And I think this project is a very unique project, Minister. It's been going 25 years in the Clondalk and Lucan area, and I have kind of first-hand knowledge. Um, my niece uh, went to Caroline Project. Um, she she won't mind me saying this because I've said it already. Uh, she fell out of school. Uh, she went to Caroline Project, and she done her leave insert uh, this year, completed it, and she's doing a full-time course. And she says, if it wasn't for the Caroline Project, uh, she probably would have taken a different road. Um, educational wise and so forth and I think I can say that probably for a lot of young people that have uh, you know used the facility it's a great facility that you, you know stops young people getting stopping going to you know a different road than they should be so I think it's imperative that uh, this project is, is, is um, properly funded. Thank you Deputy Kenny. Thanks very much, and I'm taking this on behalf of Minister Bruton, uh, who is attending other government uh, duties today. So, as you are aware, the Caroline Learning Centre, Balligadi, Lucan, County Dublin, was established as a community-based project in 1993 to assist young people who were not availing of mainstream education. Since then, it has developed into a social care centre of learning, which offers a combination of educational, emotional and social care programmes. The centre caters for young people aged 13 to 18, with a current enrolment of 27. Education is provided in line 
with the primary school year calendar. Referrals to the centre are made by Thusla's Educational Welfare Services, the Garda Juvenile Liaison Officers and the Thusla Social Work Teams and Care Homes. 63 part-time hours per week are currently provided by the Department of Education and Skills at an annual cost of €150,000. The Department also provides an annual non-pay grant of €170,000 to Dublin and Dunlira Education and Training Board to meet the day-to-day -day running costs of the centre. In addition, the centre receives annual funding from Thusla, and in 2017, Thusla provided €91,190, comprising of an annual allocation of €60,000, plus additional funding of some €30,000 for that year. In addition to that funding uh, provided to the Carline Learning Centre, the Department of Education and Skills also funds a range of national programmes catering for early school leavers, such as Youth Reach Community Training Centres and Youth Encounter Projects, which are represented in Dublin. The Department's DESH Plan 2017 sets out the vision for education to more fully become a proven pathway to better opportunities for those in communities at risk of a disadvantage and social exclusion. Action 88 of the plan provides for a review of the current out-of-school provision to inform future policy in this area. This review is currently being carried out by a working group chaired by the Department of Education and Skills and including representatives from Thusla and the Education Training Board. With regard to capital funding for the Carline facility, the Department of Education and Skills has no record of an application for capital works from the centre and consequently it is not aware of the issues to which the deputies refer. However, Minister Bruton has asked me to inform the deputies that this department is willing to consider an application for funding to address fire safety and health and safety issues at the centre. In this regard, the department has already been in touch with the DDLETB and it has agreed to contact the centre to assist its board in this matter. Once an application is received, it will be turned around as quickly as possible. Thank you, Minister. Uh, Deputy O'Brien, please. Chair and, and Minister, first of all, I'd like to sincerely thank you and, and Mr Bruton for the very positive uh, answer. You know yourself from your previous career, the challenges uh, teachers and schools face. Uh, and I have to say, having met some of the teachers in Carline Centre, they go beyond uh, uh, what it would be normally expected of teachers to ensure uh, the very vulnerable uh, uh, young people that they work with get the best quality education. They also have a very impressive voluntary board who are putting a huge amount of time into the development of the centre to ensure its governance and all of its other affairs are in order. I think if we are able to get this application, and we'll communicate that back to the school uh, as a matter of urgency, into the Education and Library Board as quickly as possible, we'd hope then that the Department and your own good offices would be willing to assist in expediting it as quickly as possible. Clearly, we can't have a situation where uh, young people in any ed educational institution uh, are at risk because of lack of adequate capital funding. It's not a large amount of money. So uh, I'd like to thank you for the encouraging uh, response, uh, and we'll stay in touch with you over the coming weeks. Thank you, Deputy Abrin. Thank you very much uh, for your positive response to this issue. Um, just a couple of points I want to raise. You indicated the various sources of funding that was made available to Caroline, and you're absolutely correct. I would just put, like to put on the record, however, that the vast majority of that funding goes for one thing and one thing only, the staff wages, and it leaves very little funding available uh, to run a facility such as this. So in that regard, uh, the positive response and being prepared to deal with uh, capital 
uh, request for capital funding to deal with some of the serious outstanding issues in the school are to be very welcomed. I want to concur with my colleague and put on the record my appreciation for all who are involved in this learning centre, uh, the volunteers and the board, but also the staff in particular. The outcomes are very, very successful. I indicated that there are, are at any given point in time, around 50 uh, people who are uh, uh, attending and participating in the programme, aiming for their junior cert. But the outcome is that 50% are returning to mainstream education. And for those who have entered with the complex issues that we uh, addressed and identified at the start of the debate, those outcomes are very, very positive. So, Minister, uh, to thank you and relay it to Minister Bruton that we're very happy with the outcome, that you are prepared to consider the capital, uh, capital, a request thank for you, capital Deputy. funding and you're prepared to do it with a degree of urgency. So, thank you. Deputy Kenny, please. Obviously, it's a quite a positive uh, response. Um, I think it's safe to say that the building itself is quite old in its kind of uh, in its complex, um, and it, as the centre has stated, it needs a refurb, particularly around uh, health and safety and so forth. And I think, as Deputy O'Brien has said, it's a small amount of money for what it. Um, give services users. Over the last 25 years, hundreds of young people have used that service, have availed of that service, and if it wasn't for that service, um, who's to know where them young people would have gone? And I can safely say, and I think with the staff and the founders of that project, they have guided young people to a different direction, uh, a safer direction uh, mm -hmm. for educational purposes um, that has put them on a, di a, a, a right road for, um, for their own lives and their family lives. So hopefully they can get the funding and be a viable project in the future. Thanks. Deputy Kenny, Minister, your response. Thank you very much. And look, I will get back to uh, Minister Bruton, and I am glad that you are happy with that response, and hopefully you know, it will happen as quickly as possible. So thanks very much, Deputies. Thank you for that, Minister. Uh